Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world at the time that I am posting this. Uh, I am labeling this as a message for September 28th because I am posting it in time for the 28th where I am in the world. However, you might not see this video where you are in the world. It might be a different date. Uh, you might stumble upon the video in a few months or weeks or years. So I'm setting this intention that this be a message for you for the next 24 hours. And if it happens to be your birthday on the day that you see this, um, please uh, have a happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. We're going to see what's coming up here for the collective. And the message that we have, ooh, is the Knight of Swords. This can come up in a few different ways. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign person. Air sign would be Libra, Aquarius, uh, or Gemini. Uh, if you have air sign placements, you might be focusing on those areas of your life. Uh, maybe like getting more uh, committed to like certain things in those houses or in those areas. But <laughs> traditionally speaking, the Knight of Swords can come up in two different ways. Um, either a situation is being sped up, like something is uh, escalating or something that you thought you were going to do later. Uh, things are beginning to unfold in a way where you're like, nope, now is the time. It's going to happen now. I'm going to do it now. So there could be something that you had planned for the future that's getting bumped up to where it's like, okay, all right, uh, timing on this is changing and, and it's going to move forward a lot more quickly or a lot sooner than I thought or I realized, which could be the case considering the fact that we're coming out of Mercury retrograde on October 2nd. So Mercury retrograde could have been a time where things really uh, have been slow for you or have been, uh, you know, like kind of stagnant. And now that we're getting closer to October 2nd, you might feel that things are beginning to speed up. Um, some of you may be making plans or arrangements in the next 24 hours uh, for a meeting or a conversation that might occur uh, on the second or sometime thereafter. And so something could be set in motion. Uh, this could also traditionally be a situation where uh, you are dealing with a very opinionated person. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one who's in the Knight of Swords energy. But Knight of Swords could be someone who's made up their mind and they're very unyielding. And the thing about the Knight of Swords, this is like where it can be different than the Knight of Wands. Because if you watch my readings, you've heard me say that the Knight of Wands for me can be a situation that's being sped up similar to this card and someone who's coming into the situation with an ultimatum. The difference between the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands will give an ultimatum and it's kind of like either you agree or I'm going to bounce right? You know, either yes or no, uh, no maybe, no think about it, yes or no, and it's just like a clear break. Knight of Swords isn't gonna be <laughs> ultimatum energy. Knight of Swords is like, they're gonna keep insisting, like, this is how it's gonna be, this is how we're gonna move forward in the situation. So if in the next 24 hours you're dealing with a person and you think you're gonna negotiate, right? Um, they're like just very much in the mindset of like, I've made up my mind. I know what's best for the situation and this is how it needs to be done. So you may be dealing with a situation where spirit is saying, look, save your energy, save your breath. Are you in agreement to this? Um, if not, you know, you might want to start, um, you know, finding a different job or a different arrangement or a different situation. Um, this isn't going to be someone that you're going to be able to compromise. It's going to be their way. And I'm not even going to say their way or no way because Knight of Swords isn't going anywhere. Knight of Swords is like, I'm here and this is how it's going to be. Some of you may be in the energy. Some of you may be in this Knight of Swords energy where you've made up your mind and you're very determined about something and you're just like, this is how it has to be, 
right? I'm unwilling to bend. I'm unyielding about it. Uh, there's no negotiation. There's no compromise. This is how it has to be. Um, if that's the case, if you are the Knight of Swords, I feel that you need to be cautious of your delivery because you may be dealing with someone that they don't see this as you're coming from a good place. You may be coming from a place where you're like, I know this is going to work out. I know this is what's best. I, you know, I know that maybe this person doesn't see it my way, but I know that this is going to be a positive outcome if they give this a chance or if they just try this out this way. They might not realize you're coming from a good place. They may feel as though you're coming in with like a punishing energy. They may feel like you're coming in uh, in, in a, a really abrasive way. So I'm if you are the person who's in the Knight of Swords energy where you have a very clear idea, you have a very clear vision of how things need to be, and you know that this is going to be a good uh, arrangement, you know that, that this is going to be in the best and highest good, uh, you know that it's going to work out, you might be like um, very sure and very convinced and very determined, but be, be cautious with how you're wording this or how you're presenting this because the other person might not see or sense that you have good intentions. The other person uh, might not see or sense uh, that you're offering a good thing. You know, they might kind of feel like, I don't know, this person seems like they don't have good intentions or this person seems like they might be completely and totally unconcerned with my feelings or thoughts or opinions and they might want to kind of, you know, kind of kind of like backtrack or uh, slow things down or, or go a separate way. But with this Knight of Swords... I feel like you're in this mindset where you're not willing to give up. I feel like this, whoever the person is who might be like, well, I don't know about this. I feel like the Knight of Swords is, again, unyielding. Like they're going to keep pursuing or they're going to keep trying or they're, they're like, they're going to keep, you know, unlike the Knight of Wands. You tell the Knight of Wands no to an ultimatum. Knight of Wands is gone. Knight of Wands has moved on to the previous thing. And whoever the Knight of Swords was... They may used to have been like that. But in this case, in this situation, there's no, you know, on to the next thing. It's like, th this is the thing. This is what we're going to do. So I would just say, uh, you know, uh, you know, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Um, and maybe be aware of your wording, uh, your body language, um, the way that you are... Uh, you know, coming into the situation, take into consideration your facial expression, your tone. Um, are you, you know, towering over the person? Are you, you might be very passionate and you might be very convinced, right? Um, I know that's something for me, if I'm really passionate about something and I, I'm explaining something, I, I have like my, you know, my culture comes to the surface, my uh, upbringing comes to the surface and I get very loud. And so sometimes people will think, okay, you know, don't yell at me. And it's like, I'm no, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just really passionate about this idea or I'm really passionate about what I'm talking about. And so you might be like that, like you might be very passionate or very convinced. And so maybe your tone is getting a little louder. Maybe you're getting a little bit more, you know, uh, animated. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be a loud or animated person, but in this situation, it might be off-putting or scary to, to the person that you're presenting this to. Um, I, you know, I, I think it's a mixed bag here. A lot of the times I'll say I feel like most of you are the Knight of Swords in this situation. Or I feel like most of you are going to deal with a Knight of Swords in this situation. And I can tell you honestly, I feel like this is a mixed bag here. I, I think it's going to be different for different ones of you. Um, uh, I know I personally don't feel 
um, in Knight of Swords energy. I personally don't feel like there's something that I need to go and like push forward and say, this is what's best and this is how we have to do it. But, you know, my situation, my circumstances is, is, is different than yours, right? Um, so for some of you, you might be presented with something uh, by a Knight of Swords and some of you might be the Knight of Swords. And for a lot of you, it could be that something is being sped up. You didn't plan to do something so soon, but because of the way things are going or things are happening, you're like, okay, you know, these plans are getting moved up or this is going to happen sooner than I thought. You might want to check out your uh, weekly forecasts if you haven't already. There's a link in the description that will take you to um, the uh, playlist for the weekly forecasts. Uh, love readings for September are linked. I am still working on October love readings and they will be popping up. I'm also catching up on private readings. So uh, give me a little bit of time for the love readings to uh, be done, but I am working on them. And if you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, I am having a sale right now. Um, and those sale prices are already automatically uh, gonna show up at the checkout when you check out and purchase the private readings. Uh, one hour or 60 minute uh, video readings are usually 150. I'm doing them right now for 111. And 30 minute video readings are usually 65. And I'm doing them for 44 right now. And we'll see if I uh, seem to have a lot of people that want it, you know, maybe I'll keep it going for a little bit longer if it seems to be something popular or in demand. Otherwise, I'm thinking of maybe just doing it for the next week or so. Um, but if I do extend it, if I do leave it open longer, of course, I'll let everyone know. I thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my dears, and I hope to see you tomorrow.